Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today we're going to go through some more of the plugins in the Slate Digital Everything Bundle, which is all their plugins for one low monthly price of $14.99. And it includes a bunch of compressors, EQs, and now delays and reverbs as well, which I'm going to be going over in this video. And the first one we're going to be checking out is called the Verb Suite Classics which is uh, in conjunction with Liquid Sonics and features their proprietary Fusion IR processing. And basically this uh, IR is able to reproduce the evolving character of reverbs and making the overall tone rich, smooth, and dynamic and awesome. And the second plugin we're gonna be going over is a Slate Digital Repeater Delay, made in conjunction with D16. And it's a dual delay and it features 23 delays ranging from classics to plates to the most famous digital designs. And it's packed, easy to use, and it's got a lot of features. So I figured I'll show you a quick video on adding some reverb and delays and a Haas type of chorus effect to an acoustic guitar that I started mixing in the previous video I did for Slate, which I will link in the description. And in that one, I went over the VMR and EQing, compressing, and thickening up the sound with VCC and Revival as well. And let's get right to it. First of all, let me play you what I ended up with, adding the reverb, repeater, and actually one more repeater doing like a Haas chorus effect type thing, which is down here. So let's just play a quick clip going from the verse to the chorus. As you see, I have it automated so the effects are a little bit heavier in the chorus. So let's just play a little bit here. Cool. So as you can hear, uh, in the verse, it was a bit more dry, a bit more kind of mono-ish, even though it's a stereo, you know, guitars and it's got a bunch of stacks. And in the chorus, the delay kind of came up, the reverb came up, it sounded a little crispier, a little more exciting, a little more doubled. And I did that using these plugins. So let me actually mute the delays and let's go through the functions really quick on the Verb Suite Classics. So we have an EQ right off the bat and that helps you tailor the sound of the reverb. So in my case, I'm taking out some lows on the reverb, some mids, and I'm adding a drop of highs. And these are great to have on a reverb plugin as you don't have to add an EQ after your insert to like shape the tone. It's nice that it's built in. And then next we have the attack time. Now the attack is basically the speed that the reverb gathers into its peak on the room size that it's set to. And basically moving the attack time up increases the late reverb tail. Next we have the pre-delay. And what the pre-delay basically is, is a delay before the reverb begins. So basically you hear the dry sound and then the reverb after it, which essentially helps the sound not get lost in a really kind of muddy reverb. Next, we have the width, which is basic mid-side processing. And you would use this to get more width on the reverb. Simple as that. Next, we have a chorus. And raising this, you'll kind of have a chorusy effect if you, if you want to do that. And you just raise it up. And here we have our decay time, which is basically how long the reverb lasts and how long it decays. Now over here where it says load device and you follow the arrow and you click this guy. And these are the all the reverbs that you can check out. And there's a lot. And the one I'm actually using on this sound right here is the 480 patch. And I believe I'm on rooms and small and bright, which I tweaks. And that's that sound. And over here, you have your input and output meters. You have your gain for the reverb on the output. And you have a dry and wet. So if you want to do parallel processing, you could do that. But in this case, I have my effects on a bus. So I have it all the way wet. That way I can use a send to tell it how much I want. And of course, on top here, you have some presets with all these parameters set to a certain thing, which is cool when you first get something to kind of go through and see how they're setting up some sounds. So let's actually hear the guitars in solo with just our processing with VMR from the previous video and just this reverb that we have set here. So as you can hear, it kind of added a little bit more brightness, added a little bit of a nice room tone to it. And to me, it, it just made it sound a bit more sweet, although it sounded good before. So that's all the reverb's doing. It's pretty subtle, but you know, you can check out the settings I have here. And of course, fool around with it, do your own thing if you want. There's endless possibilities with this reverb unit. It models so many different things. Next, I added some delay. And for this, I'm using the repeater, which just got added to the bundle. 
And let's do a quick overview of this interface right here. So let's go from left to right. So first we have our input, and then we have some options such as processing quality, presets, mini mapping. And over here is where you can kind of click and go through your presets you make. And over here you have your previous preset, next presets, and here you can save your presets. And then on the left here, we have our sync modes. So with host selected, it'll basically look at your tempo in your DAW and match that tempo. And now if you see where it says none, it's basically free time. So it'll go to whatever you want. And you can also tap out your own tempo if you want under it right here. And I'm gonna go back to host. And over here, you have your left delay times, which is right now is set to a quarter note. And there's a link right here. So if you move it, they both go together or you can unlink it and go individually. And it's the same on this side, you have your left and right feedbacks, which are essentially the repeats. You have a link, and over here you have a phase invert, and you have a ping pong, if you kind of want it to go back and forth in your in your headphones or speakers. Spread is kind of like, a, it has like a phase type thing, which uh, kind of helps it sound wider. And you have two options, A and a B. And right here you have some filters and color, which is kind of, for vibe and a little saturation to kind of color up your delays, essentially. And on the high pass filter left and right, I have them linked. And I have it set to basically cut 126 hertz on our delay. So delay is not going to happen from 126 hertz and down. And for the LPF, which is low pass filter, I basically have it set at 8K. So delay is not going to look at 8K and above, just under. And I have the color set at about 43%. And again, these are just my settings, but you can probably get a lot of good stuff out of this at all sorts of settings. And this is adding a bit of color and saturation to it. And over here, you have pan left and right, as well as mix stops for, for the actual delay, which is really cool to have. And lastly, we have our output volume. So let's actually take a listen in solo with this repeater delay on the guitar on the chord notes, and let's see what it's doing. So again, we're gonna start from the verse because I have it automated to be less in the verse, and we'll go into the chorus a drop. So as you can hear, it added a lot of coolness to it, added some life, added some sparkle, and of course it added that nice chord note delay, which I, I felt in the track, which I'll play again after, really added a lot of love to it and helped it kind of sound a bit more polished, a bit more produced. And then lastly, I added kind of like a Haas effect, which uh, I'm using the uh, Pitchy 1 delay model, and I'm using the sync mode. So I'm not using the host, and basically I'm setting it the left side at about 10 milliseconds, the right side at 14. I also have the feedback kind of unlinked and setting it at about 79% here and 67% here. I have the high pass set at about 400 hertz. I have the low pass set to 15K. I have the color cranked a bit, and I did not mess with the pan left to right or the mix knobs. So let's see what this added. So as you can hear, this bus is actually the uh, second delay, which is like my sort of Haas effect. And it's all the way down for the verse. So you, so the effect wasn't there in the verse. And in the chorus, I popped it in and just to kind of add some width to the track, which I felt was kind of a cool touch. So I'm going to play the whole mix now with, with these two guys on here. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this is the uh, Verb Suite Classic and the repeater delay. And these just got added to the Slate Everything Bundle, which is $14.99 a month. And you get all their plugins, which is a great deal. And they're always adding more. So definitely check them out. And I'll link them in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button. And let me know in a comment if you'd like to see any other future videos. And subscribe if you aren't already. Happy mixing.